In magic, effigy and person become one. If you want to harm someone, remove their nose or mouth from their statues. That way they won't be able to breathe, to survive in the afterlife. The statue becomes something like a second corpse of your own. And uh, parts of your soul are um, able to yeah, in-house that statue. And sometimes I think we have to uh, compare it perhaps with photos of our own in our own times. Um, so if you are looking at a photo of you, you're really believing that that's me. Yeah. Sometimes we even have the photos um, on crosses, on the graveyards. Une statue, au même titre qu'un hiéroglyphe, est une écriture. Et donc, si vous prononcez le nom de quelqu'un, vous l'amenez à la vie. Si vous fabriquez la statue de quelqu'un, vous amenez ce quelqu'un à la vie. On this beautiful day, recites one funerary formula, you will be transformed and remembered. All the children will be talking about you. As in the carved and painted images, the deceased appears athletic and rejuvenated. He is readying himself to live forever. <laughs>